this is like one answering technique no reason one is like just a fast way to do it so you circle the three you pull it there you put three you circle the two you pull it there and put two so no reason we just do it and straight hello everybody Liangjun mathematics here today i'm going to show you ratios two quantity ratios and another two quantity ratios we're going to combine into one ratio called three quantities okay so i'm going to write the title now so two quantities and another two quantities so i'm going to combine it i'm going to combine I put a c here like combine uh, combine and make it a three quantities but of course of course what happened it's your two quantity and two quantity there is one thing right is like the same thing on so for example i'm going to give you like example number one huh? because after i do this simple method called the hamburger method and i will show you one hot question okay so a dot dot b so a to b so that's the first ratio so let's say the given a to b is stated as let's say four to one okay four to one and my next ratio is given as um, B to C and it's stated as what? It's stated as 1, 2, 3. So this is something very simple. The reason being what? The reason being this. In order to combine your two quantities and two quantities, which is this given two ratios into three quantities, this is what we're going to do. We're going to compare the same things. Uh, the things that I mentioned, the thing, uh, the thing you have to combine and put it in the middle. So A to B then you're going to write B to C. Of course, I'm writing extra. La, so you can you can just, I'll say, reduce your working by just writing numbers. So A to B is stated as 4 to 1. And your B to C is stated as 1 to 3, right? So the important thing is to make sure the middle one. Ah, everyone. The middle number is the same number. So as long as they are the same number, nice. You can straight away squeeze it and make it 4, 1, and 3. So this answer being what? This answer being this is the A, this is the B, and this is the C. So this one's something very, very simple. So let's increase it into something harder a bit. So number two, let's say, is given X to Y equals to um, 2 to 3, for example. And your Y to Z, okay, your Y to Z is stated as, let's say, um, 6 to 3, for example. Okay, 6 to 3. Now, so everyone, look at this. So notice that 6 and 3, you can simplify, right? So I'm going to simplify and make it lower first. So it will be 1 and 2. Uh, so after you see, because you know, like, ratio, you have to make it, like, simplest form, right? Okay, now I'm going to combine it, like, x dot dot y. And the y is must, must be, like, in the middle, right? It must be right in the middle. It cannot be on the left, on the right. No. So dot dot, you're going to put z. And I'm going to write nicely. 2 to 3, and then the y and z, okay, y will be here, 2 dot dot 1, and the problem comes in, everyone. Do you notice the middle one is not the same? So there is two patterns here, two ways that you can apply, ways number one. So what can you do? Okay, so I'm going to do like method number one over here. So method number one, the so-called textbook way. Okay, so I'm going to put like TB, uh, TB stands for textbook so what we're going to do, we're going to make sure it becomes the same number and by using the so-called LCM, lowest common multiple, or maybe by using some logic, you notice that 3 and 2, you can make it 6, right? So you're going to times 2 and times 2. You're going to times 3 and times 3 so that it becomes the same number. So I'm going to rewrite everything one more time. So I'm going to rewrite. Huh? So 4 dot dot 6 and 6 dot dot 3. Uh, so over, so you squeeze everything because it's the same thing, already, right? So it will be 4. 6 and 3. So is it possible to further simplify this case? Not possible, leave it. But I personally prefer another better hamburger way, the Liam J way. But of course, this way, right, my teacher taught me, and so it's like quite useful, so I like this so much. So 2 and 3, uh, the Liam J way. Okay, the Liam J hamburger way. So the hamburger way. So 2 and 3, 2 and 1. So this is what we're going to do, everyone. This is like one answering technique. No reason one. It's like just a fast way to do it. So you circle the 3, you pull it there, you put 3. You circle the 2, you pull it there and put 2. So no reason, we just do it and straight.
times everything together, you see 2 and 2, 4. 3 and 2 times 6. 3 and 1 times it 3. Do you notice you get the same answer? So don't worry, it's acceptable. So what are we going to do for our hot question, guys? This is the one. So this thing comes out in one of the famous school, okay? And I'm going to show everyone this question is like kind of like powerful a bit and student tends to tends to think too much, you know? So this question over here, the so-called hot question in PT3, section C, bargain C, right? You need this idea to solve it. Okay, so let's see how easy is the HOTS question. So, ini lah. HOTS. K but. Uh, the so-called HOTS question K but. But as long as you have a fixed method to solve it, right? It's something like, okay lah, easy. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, obviously you can see in the diagram, it says 40% of the small circle is shaded. So, as you can see, small circle is stated over here, drawn over here, and the big one is over here. So 40% of the shaded, okay, 40% of the small circle shaded. So I'm going to draw an arrow and put there 40%. So obviously this part over here, right, we will state it as 60%. But, but, of course, remember, remember, don't ever look at the diagram and say, teacher, I thought this one is like around 50-50. Don't assume that way. You always go back to the given question and see what they mentioned, okay? Now, so obviously... This one belongs to the small circle. So I'm going to write my workings nicely over here. Like let's say the, the, the small one, okay, I will just treat it as a blue color version. Right now, huh? So I'm writing, writing it over here. The small circle. So I'm going to write this way. I'm going to write like shaded for the small circle to the not shaded. Okay, to the not shaded. So I'm going to write like 40% to 60% based on ratios definition we're going to make sure the unit is not there so we're going to take away the percentage we're going to divide by 10 we're going to further divide by 2 so in the end your new ratio becomes 2 and 3 for the circle so this will be 2 and 3 but they further mention that 5 over 6 of the big circle is shaded so i'm going to write this like separately this is 5 over 6 and student will say teacher this one obviously 1 of 6 right you are right but you cannot assume this is equals to this the reason being this thing is the information, I mean it's in 40% and 60% uh, is the information that belongs to small circle. So your bigger circle, your bigger circle is stated 1 over 6 and 5 over 6 as for the two given parts shaded and not shaded. So I'm going to write it separately. So the big circle everyone. So as for the big circle right, as for the big circle, I will write shaded to not shaded. Ah, not shaded. So everyone, for the shaded part, right, I'll, I'll just put one extra word there called big circle because it's like obviously the two given shaded is like two different stuff and the not shaded is the same thing so I'll just use the same name, guys. So, um, I will place this as 5 over 6 and the other one as 1 over 6. So, everyone, this is not a uh, one actual ratio so what we're going to do is to cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it away basically means you take away your denominator, right? So your, your 6 and 6, basically times 6, you get 5 and 1. So this is the new ratio that you get. But the important thing, you're going to combine like what we did just now. Uh, what we did just now. So what whatever repeated, you're going to put it right in the middle. So this is what we're going to do, guys. Ah, see, ah? So everyone, I'm going to rewrite. See? So I'm going to put like shaded, the small, okay, the small, and then dot dot, I'm going to put the not shaded here. I'll, I'll just put short form guys, okay, short form. Then, we're going to put not shaded back down there. Again, the reason being like two things, the, the two same thing, right? I mentioned that. You're going to place it in the middle. So, you notice that this thing I put it over here, right? I'll just switch it. I purposely put it this way so that you know that you can switch. So, dot dot, you're going to put like shaded for the big. Ah, so I'm going to draw a line and I will copy and paste all the information given there. So I'm, I will just copy the 2 and 3. This one is 2 and 3, right? And this one, supposed to be 5, 1 originally. So I switch it to 1 and 5. And by using the so-called Liangjue Hamburger method. So I will copy and paste the 3 there. Copy and paste the 1 there, you see? And I will just times everything. So I get like 2, 3, and 15. Okay, wait. So we're going to check out, you see? Now, so this two, right, it belongs to shaded. For small circle, I will put here as two. Uh, then this one is the not shaded, I will place it as three because now you combine the two ratios together and make it one. Uh, so you can use the, the figure that I really showed, the 15, it's over here. 
for the shaded big circle. Ah, shaded big circle. So let's see what they want. So as you check out the information, right, it says ratio for the area of non-shaded region. Two means two, right? Uh, two means the double dot that, that we get. We got to use it for our ratios, right? So ratio of the non-shaded region, obviously it will be three, right? So my answer will be three, okay, dot, dot. Then the total area of the shaded part. What is the total area for the shaded part? So can you see, shaded part will be 2 and 15. So we total up, you get 17. So that will be your first answer for A. So guys, B, you don't have to further do like extra workings because all the information is stated here and in the diagram. So ratio of the area of small circle, 2 means the 2 dots, to the area of big circle. So small circle stated as 2 and 3, it will be 5. And the area of the big circle, 3 and 15, is going to be 18, right? So that's how you solve this hot question by using the hamburger method. And that's all. Bye.